So first we're gonna start with the ingredients, which are a banana, coconut milk, and honey. You'll also need a blender. Now this is optional, but I highly suggest it. You're gonna start by breaking up your banana and adding it to the blender. Then you'll add two tablespoons of coconut milk to that mix. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of honey. So this mixture of banana, coconut milk, and honey are going to create a hair mask that is high in moisture for those winter months. It's also going to provide lots of slip, which I personally love. Next, you're going to blend all the ingredients well. I made a huge mistake during this video by not blending this super smooth and also by not using a strainer. So please learn from my mistakes and strain this. So I'm starting on dry hair, but you can definitely start on wet hair if you choose. I just refuse to shower twice if I don't have to. Plus, I wanted to test out the slip on dry hair. Oh, and by the way, this tastes amazing. If you have leftovers, treat yourself to a smoothie. So I'm applying this with a hair coloring brush, but you don't have to. You can totally just use your hands. I'm just a bit messy in this process. Now, do you see all of those chunks of banana? Let me just warn you that these do not rinse easily. That's why you need the strainer. When I did my DIY avocado mask, it rinsed out so much easier than this. So just keep that in mind. Next, I'm going to wrap my hair up and then apply a shower cap. You should leave this on for about 20 to 30 minutes and you can add a heating cap if you really wanna penetrate the moisture. Then you'll wash your hair well with a sulfate-free shampoo or cleansing conditioner and follow your normal styling routine. So this is the final result, but I'm gonna pause so you can see why the strainer is so important. The last thing I want is for you all to have banana stuck in your hair, but it smells wonderful and my hair is shiny and moisturized. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check me out on all my social media and I'll see you next time.